come for a night out with me in Houston, Texas, the black girl version. You feel me? I live in Houston, so this isn't new to me, but I usually don't blog about the things that I do and I'll be having a grand old time. And so if you live here, consider this like a Houston vlog. If you are looking to come visit or move here, like I think you will really enjoy this as well. Um, it is Leo season. Shout out to my fellow Leos and my friend is celebrating her birthday early. We're both August Leos. Um, and so we're gonna be outside. You feel me? We're gonna show y'all the vibes. We're gonna see if our Megan needs still work as we push 40 and we're just gonna have a good time. And so hopefully this gives you some good ideas. It gives you a peek into life in Houston. If you have any questions, concerns, comment those below, but I hope that you enjoy this night out in Houston Texas, uh, the black girl version, okay? It's a Houston vlog, a Houston black vlog, whether you wanna come here to visit or not. So let me show you my outfit and then I'm gonna get up out of here. Okay, so this is my outfit, a uh, little, you know, uh, I don't know what those dresses are called, but yeah, this is what I'm wearing. I think it's cute, it's cute and simple, it's not my birthday. It's her birthday, almost. Um, and I don't know where I got stuff from, I'm not a fashion girly, I'm a finance girly, okay? But I just think everything looks cute. It works, my makeup looks really nice. I don't know my, why my mirror is hella dirty, but anyway, I'm sure we'll have many pictures later tonight. So just come out, night out in Houston, Texas. Let's enjoy it, the black girl luxury, black girl, uh, black girl magic version, okay? Okay, so I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like drinking is not really that enjoyable. Honestly, like, I think it is to, cert to an certain extent. Like, I feel like, and I just got to my friend's house. I feel like it's enjoyable to have a couple of cocktails, but when it gets to the point where it's like you wake up the next day and you're like hung over and sluggish and I don't like feeling like that. And I also feel like you be drinking a lot too. And like, I'm, I, I be eating a lot. You drink a lot and then you eat a lot and I don't be want to feel like that. Like I don't. And I'm on my own little weight loss journey, which I've been on. I feel like for my whole life, I've, I've just learned to low key accept myself. <laughs> Even though I'm cute, you know, but I just know that I could be doing better. But, like, I'm not even trying to do hella drinking tonight. Like, I'm going to drink at the restaurant, but, like, at the actual stuff that we're doing later, I don't plan on having too many drinks because I just, mm-mm. Am I the only one that feels that way?
thing. So I can drop this off. Because uh, we got appetizers. I just got a lot going on over here. Yes. 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 What did you get? She said the basement. It's the lounge. It's the lounge. Oh, okay, yeah, I hear it.
Yeah. It was too many people. Now, if it was just us, then they'd be like, hell no, them hoes. But it was a bunch of people. Exactly. Everybody was leaving at the same time. Everybody was leaving at the same time. So as y'all can see, a time was had. There was so much that, that happened that I haven't even covered. And I think I will maybe towards the end of this, but I want to focus more on the money because this is a money channel, okay? Maximize money. And so what I try to do with every purchase is generate some type of ROI. And an ROI is a return on investment. So if I'm spending, I need to be getting something in return beyond just the purchase, the product or the experience, okay? So I talk a lot about how I'm able to travel for free, you know, or have discounted hotel experiences. And I do that with the support of points. And so I'm gonna walk you through how I was able to earn points over the course of this weekend, including the night out that y'all just saw. And then I'm gonna wrap this up with some little crazy stuff that we saw outside last night. So let's start with dinner. So we went to dinner and I believe I highlighted the receipt somewhere in my um, vlog, but my dinner was basically like $130, right? So with one of my cards, because I have a combination of cards, like each travel credit card has its own benefits, you know? And so I use them interchangeably and I chose them based on my lifestyle. So the things that I spend my most money on, I'm not a big clothing girl. I'm not a big lash girl. Like I'm a grocery girl. I am a Uber slash Lyft girl. Like I'm all about convenience. So dinner, and I like to eat out. So I'm an eating out kind of girl too. So birthday dinner, it's it's our, it's my friend's birthday. Happy Leo season to my fellow Leos. So my dinner was $130. With one of my cards, I get three times the points, y'all. So that means 130 times three is 390 points. And that's just for my dinner because we covered her dinner, but we sent the money to someone, you know, one of her friends um, just to cover it. Otherwise I would've got some points on her dinner too. And I don't know if y'all take y'all friends out to dinner for their birthday week. That's what we do. So I don't know. But that's that's just what we do. Next is Lyft. So hypothetically, I had already envisioned us taking the Lyft from my friend's place to the birthday girl's place that she was staying. And the distance is probably around 10-ish miles. So I already was like, okay, I'm going to just set aside $25 for that. Um, and 25 times five, because I get five times the points on ride share related stuff with one of my cards, would have been $125. But my friend ended up driving us to uh, the Airbnb that my friend got for the night. So that's that. Next, I envisioned having to pay to get from the restaurant that we went to to the club, um, the lounge that we went to. So that was probably about a mile distance. So I would assume maybe $10 and then add an extra $2 for, you know, tip. And that would have been $12 times five because with one of my cards, I get five times the points. That would have been 60 points. Hopefully y'all following with these numbers and that's why I'm gonna put them on the screen so that this makes sense. Next is drinks. Usually when I go out, I have like one or two drinks and drinks are expensive as hell these days, which is why I drink at home, okay? But I envision having to get drinks at some point separate from dinner, like out at the club, even though I knew my friends getting service bottle service, I just didn't know. So I had already just budgeted because I budget things, okay? I don't just be going out every day, spending all willy nilly. I knew my friend's birthday dinner was coming up. And so I knew that, okay, baby, you need to set aside this money so you're not out here counting pennies at the dinner table with the rest of the girls. So I had envisioned $40, you know, for two drinks. Um, and with one of my cards, I get two times the points with that kind of purchase, which is just regular drinks. You know, it's not a food. If it was food, it would have been three times the points. So that's $80. So the total amount that I could have earned that night alone, which I anticipated, was 665 points. And that may not sound like a lot, y'all, but that's from one night. One night, a couple of hours, okay? Imagine what the weekend will look like, which is why I added some other things that I paid for before I even stepped out last night because I like to pay my bills before I go out and enjoy life okay if I know that they come in I'm gonna just knock those out so that I don't have to worry about oh things being over you know um what's the word I'm looking for if they're not being over compensated I don't know I don't want to overextend myself I think that's the word I'm looking for so let's talk groceries I cook most of the food that I eat like I eat out on the weekends occasionally like a Friday or a Saturday maybe a Sunday I don't know but I tend to eat at home 
during the week it's rare for me to eat out during it's very rare for me to eat out during the week so i usually spend around 100 dollars on groceries and with one of my cards i get three times the points um so when i say three times two times just take that number and and put a little multiplication between between the amount that i'm giving you you know times which is multiplied by two or three or five depending on what i'm giving you here so groceries 100 dollars times three because it's three times the points is three hundred dollars y'all next is gas i have to get gas two to three times a month my tank usually requires thirty dollars this last one i filled up for for twenty five dollars and again if i'm doing that two to three times a week um, a week a month that can quickly add up but for this purchase in particular $25 times two was 50 points okay next is the electricity so I pay all of my bills with the exception of my mortgage because that has to come out of my checking account I pay all of my other bills my security system my phone bill my uh, my internet all of my bills are charged on a specific car because I know that I get two times the points on all of those things so for my electric bill, which is very expensive, I usually spend around $130 on average during the summer because I have everything running because it's hot as hell outside, okay? So with that, I, um, again, earn two times the point. So in the in the winter, it's, it's half that price. So, so I always try to just adjust my spending plan based on that. But 130 times two is 260 points. So I earned 260 points just for doing something I was gonna do anyway, which was pay my electricity okay next is natural gas so where i live my appliances and you can have electric appliances or you can have gas appliances for me the gas appliances actually because i averaged both of them and my gas appliances um actually cost less overall and instead of me having all appliances being electric um that also is good just for the climate that i live in houston so my natural gas bill is usually around 40 dollars. so 40 times two um, I think it was 38 this time, but we're just going to round it up to 40. 40 times 2 is $80, 80, 80 points, excuse me. So that 300 plus 50 plus 260 plus 80 is 700 points, y'all. So this is over the course of one day because I paid my bills earlier that day. So 700 for the stuff that I was going to do anyway plus 665 to go out and celebrate my friend's birthday is 1,365 points that I earned in one day. Now imagine all these other expenses that I didn't account for. You know, AT&T, my internet, my phone, my security system, what else? Uh, trash, I have to pay for trash where I live. Like things add up so quick and the more points you accumulate, and again, these are everyday purchases, y'all. I'm not going out and spending on unnecessary stuff. Like the more points you accumulate through these everyday purchases, the more points you have to redeem for the free flights the discounted hotel sometimes a free night you know at a hotel and that is how i'm able to travel so much more and so i literally broke it down realistically to show you like how i earn points and this was over the course of a couple of hours baby so imagine what it looks like from a, a month to month week to week perspective like some of these numbers are times four essentially and so this is what i show my money girls and that's what i call my girls um in my little community how to do and and where they all started was with my luxury living on a nine to five budget masterclass because i want to show the girls how to realistically travel how to realistically enjoy the things that they want to do without going into debt for it and so one of the things that i love to do and all of my girls love to do in the in the in the little community you know the money girl collective is that they like to travel too so like I hear about stories about how like, okay, I use my points to book more flights. Like I have more money that I'm earning that I didn't realize. Like I love helping them wake up to these wins, but it all started with the luxury living on a nine to five budget masterclass where I literally show you how to use your nine to five income to create the luxury experiences that you deserve and not feel like you have to spend all your money to do it. Cause again, this is money that I had set aside anyway, y'all. I knew these bills was coming. I knew the birthday dinner was coming, but instead of me pulling out my debit card and getting nothing in return for it, like I literally show you in the masterclass how to create your own strategy like this, you know, how to choose the right credit cards based on your goals, you know, and based on your lifestyle, because you may not live a lifestyle similar to me, or you might, but I want you to have the education that you need to choose the right cards for you and not do it just because somebody online told you that this is a great card because their lifestyle is likely different than yours. So 
hopefully that was helpful again the luxury living on a nine to five budget masterclass is action-packed y'all like all of my girls who took it took action immediate right immediately right after it's 90 minutes of nothing but notes you're gonna be taking nothing but notes and you're gonna know by the end what's best for you based on your lifestyle so hopefully this was helpful um i want to give y'all a little tea about what happened while i was out and about at the in the streets but really that's not relevant if it is let me know I, i'll tell you i'll put it somewhere else on another vlog but i really wanted to make sure that i showed y'all how to maximize your money that's literally the name of the game here the name of the youtube channel the name of my brand like i don't believe in working hard i believe in working smart and this is what the wealthy do they don't spend their own money they run up these credit cards with the things that they were going to do anyway but they have the money elsewhere to cover it i don't believe in carrying balances either i don't want y'all carrying credit card balances so don't spend money you do not have still stick to your spending plan still use your high yield savings account which is what i use to save and earn more money you know this is the accounts that i use for the bank to pay me they pay me an interest for literally leaving my money in their in their banks you know most of us don't use those so if you're interested in that click the Link in the description as well, because that's something I talk all, all the time about with my girls. Um, and they all have one too, okay? So, like, we're not out here struggling. We're making good decisions with our money, and we're putting our money to work so that we can rest. We can go out and enjoy our lives. We can travel and actually have the money to do it. So, hopefully you enjoyed this vlog. Hopefully this breakdown made sense to you. If you have more questions, comment them below. And I plan to have more vlogs like this. It may not be a night out every time. Like I love to travel and I never do travel vlogs. So I'm going to be doing a travel vlog soon. Um, and I'm very much looking forward to that. Um, and of course, I'm going to break down the numbers so that y'all understand like, okay, this is how she did it. And this is how I want to do it because you're going to be shocked at how much I spent <laughs> on a trip and how many points I earned off that alone. So again, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend, okay? And of course, let me know any kind of questions or comments you have um, in, the, uh, in the comment section. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.